we're driving, of course, is going around and recording the approximate location of wireless networks in a database and then sharing that somehow. So in this case, I had gone around a circle line tour in New York, um, which is like a little uh, like tour that like takes you around the river and like you kind of get close to everything. And I ran Wiggle Wi-Fi, which uploads to Wiggle.net on my Android phone. And I recorded a bunch of wireless data and I wanted to see if this AI model could do three things. If it could analyze the data, if it could enrich the data, and if it could output the data into like a visual representation. So these CSV files are like, you know, this one's like 5,000 lines of data. And I, I uploaded it and I asked it a question. I said, I want you to cross-reference the MAC addresses of all these wireless networks with a list of, of vendors and then identify the most common vendors in this area. So I was basically telling it to do a survey of the data and actually transform it, like pull in new data and give me an analysis. And it told me that it extracted the network ID column, used the Mac vendor lookup package in Python to look up the vendor, that's real, um, calculated the frequency of each vendor, and then sorted the vendor uh, to find the frequency of the most common ones. And this is what it said. There were 528 Ruckus wireless networks. Um, there was 143 Aruba networks. There's 137 Cisco networks. That's like, that sounds super reasonable. And then it concluded that Ruckus wireless access points made up 25% of networks. And then, you know, Aruba, Cisco, and, and Netgear have a strong presence. That sounds pretty typical to me. Like, I've been in a lot of environments where that's the case. Point here is I was able to upload a bunch of numbers. I was able to pull in new data. And then it was able to analyze that, um, or so it seemed. Because it provided these steps of what a reasonable person would do to enrich the data, I assumed that it had actually, like, done some code here. I, I thought that it had actually like processed the information. So this was not setting up tasks for itself and then doing them. It was actually just guessing what the output of those tasks should look like. So uh, in the end, I ended up getting statistics that looked really reasonable, but they were completely wrong. They were completely fabricated. Claude didn't even try to calculate this information. Instead, it just tried to assume what that information should look like. After doing it once and then trying it again and then starting to look at the responses, I realized that something was wrong. I was getting a different response every single time that I ran this. This is one of my conversations. I uh, would upload a CSV file, which was a war driving file. I would say, okay, this is a war driving file. It shows Wi-Fi data please provide a breakdown by manufacturer of using the MAC address and a MAC address lookup table to tally and rank the uh, number of networks by authentication and manufacturer. Provide a summary and output a CSV formatted text of the manufacturer by frequency. I wanted to see if it could transform the data a little bit. So it comes back. And now it says that there's a total of 278 Wi-Fi networks in the data. That's That, that doesn't really square with the way, what we had before. There was like 500 of them. Now we have 146 networks using uh, WP2 encryption. 123 use no encryption, 9 use WEP. The top manufacturers are Ubiquiti, Apple, and Netgear. Okay, so that's totally different <laughs> from what it said before. And this is the same file. Now, it did manage to like convert this and make it into a CSV file. Not a very impressive one, I might add. But um, it makes a little summary. Uh, so what it seems here is that it's just wrong. It's just making things up. And these AI systems like Claude by Anthropic or Bard by Google or ChatGPT4, um, they are just doing their best to approximate, approximate what this should look like. So if you're doing data science, if you're doing analysis, if you're doing a lot of the things that AI seems like it would be uh, good at, you have to be super careful and you have to check this stuff manually.